Welcome to module 5, lesson 31, add mixed numbers. Now these numbers are all going to have like denominators, and there's a lot of ways to add mixed numbers. So let's look at a few. In number 1, they're going to have you put together fraction pieces that create a whole. Take a look at A as an example. It's 2 and a third plus 1 and 2 thirds. So 2 and a third is thought of like this, 2 holes and a third. 1 and 2 thirds is 1 and 2 thirds. Now the 2 and the 1, that's easy. Together they make 3. And the 1 third plus the 2 thirds come together to make 3 thirds, which is another whole, right? 3 thirds all filled in is one whole. And when you have three holes plus another hole, all together you have four as your final answer. Let's try that on B. See, in B, I would think of this as the two and two fifths. And I'd really like to make a hole if I could, but this is just another two and two fifths. Sorry about that. I was already thinking about the answer. Because the answer is that you have four holes, right there, two plus two, and then two fifths and two fifths is just four fifths. So this one didn't even make another hole. The two fifths plus two fifths makes four fifths, and I'm done. Now, C will work a little different because when you put three eighths to five eighths, you're gonna have eight eighths, right? So you're going to have three, four, five holes total. Okay? I like this method. It works pretty well. All right, let's try A. Now A they've worked out partially for you. Two plus one is three. And then the two fourths and the three fourths add to make five fourths. So this is the, the portion that we're going to go ahead and draw on our number line. Three plus five more fourths. Okay, so three. That's what we have. That's what you start with. Go ahead and mark that spot. All right? And now five-fourths, isn't that a whole four-fourths and one more fourth for a total of five, right? It's a whole and one more fourth. So they want you to say that you hopped four-fourths, a whole, plus four-fourths, and then you at jumped plus one more fourth. Now where is the spot that we're on? The spot that we're on is the answer. 4 and 1 fourth, right? I am at the number 4 and 1 more fourth. Now I'll do B, so let me draw it out for you. Alright, so I've worked my problem out into sixths. Now I wrote 3 through 7 as my number line. Of course it goes to below 0 and above 7. That's why I have the arrows there. Alright, let's work this out. So when I add these two numbers together, 3 and 2, 3 plus 2, I'm going to get 5. And I'm also going to get the 4 6 plus the 5 6 to make 9 6, aren't I? Now the 9 6 could be broken up into 6 6 and 3 6 to make 9 6, of course. But it's easier this way, right? This way I have a whole and 3 6 more. Now let's draw what I have. I have 5 and 6 6 and 3 6. So starting at 5. I will go 6-6 six, six plus 6-6 six, six, and then I will go 3-6 more which is also a half, right? And where have I landed? This is my answer. I've landed at 6 and 3-6 six. and if you put 6.5 that's correct as well, right? I'll leave you to do C which has to be in twelfths. Your number line just to, to get you started on it could easily go from 1, give yourself a lot of room, 2, and 3, and cut it into twelfths. All right, moving on to the next one. This is new. Solve using the arrow way to show how to make 1. Now this way is a little new, and, and with some practice, I think a lot of students will like this one. But today, it might catch you off a little, little bit difficult. See, it starts the same way. Two and one make three. But the three-fourths and the three-fourths stay separated. And the goal is to make the three-fourths, this first one, a whole. So 
out of this three fourths, they took away a fourth and left the other two alone. Now this one fourth will be added. So this is what they've drawn. You have three and three fourths. You take the one fourth and give it to this three fourths to make four. And then the four combines with what's left over, the two fourths, to make four and two fourths, or four and a half. All right? A little confusing? Let's go ahead and try it out. So the two and the three make five. I'm going to leave the seven eighths alone. I'd really love it if that was eight eighths, right? And how to make it eight eighths? I could easily get one from this four eighths. One of the eighths and the three eighths left over. So this is what it looks like. It looks like the, with the what they call the arrow way, it looks like you have five and seven eighths. I'm going to take that one eighth and create a six, right? Five, and now I have seven eighths, and one more is eight eighths. Now I have six. And then the six, I'm running out of room here with the arrow. The six will then combine with the extra three eighths to create my answer of six and three eighths. All right? Now, on the very end of this work, it says to go ahead and solve uh, using any method, I believe. Sorry about that little mark. Solve using any method. So I'll do it um, one more time and I'll use the arrow way to solve this last problem here. 3 and 8 tenths plus 1 and 5 tenths. So the arrow way. You could do it any way you like. But I'm going to show you one more example. 3 and the 1 make 4. Right? Now the 8 tenths that I have here, that'd be nice if I had a 10 tenths, right? So out of this 5 tenths, I'm going to give it 2 tenths and leave the 3 tenths alone. So it said every, any method you want, right? So I'm not going to draw the arrows. I'm just going to put these 2 tenths in with this 8 tenths, which makes 10 tenths, right? Which 10 tenths is a whole, plus the 4 is now 5. But don't forget about this little 3 tenths that you pulled out. We never used him, so he is part of my answer because I'm adding these together. All right, there are several ways to add fractions, mixed numbers with like denominators. If you like any of these methods, I'd suggest you keep practicing them, and um, you'll be great. If you have any more questions, see me, and I'd be glad to help. Thanks.